But this video shows how you can do unbound um, CRUD operations on a UX component. So you can see here we have a component that is uh, displaying some uh, controls over here. But if we go look at data binding, we can see that this has not been bound uh, to a table. So uh, all of the bindings going to take place dynamically uh, at the time the uh, um, event is handled on the server. So if I go back to controls here, let's take a look at this first uh, button over here, which is an enter. So we go to the event handler, and you can see we're using an action in Action JavaScript called um, update insert or delete uh, data to a table. So let's go edit. So uh, you can see here that uh, we've chosen the uh, insert um, action. And the possible actions are update, insert, delete, or auto decide, which means uh, decide at runtime based on some criteria. And I'll discuss that uh, a little later. So here we go. We say it's an insert. We're going to connect to an Oracle database. The table we're going to use is the customer table. The primary key for this table is customer ID. Uh, in Oracle, uh, when you have an order increment field, you have to use sequences, so the sequence name is A5 under bar customer. Here are the available sequences for me to choose from. So there's our Oracle sequence. Now we can specify how uh, the con uh, controls on the uh, UX component are mapped to the primary key. So we're saying here that the uh, customer ID field, uh, the customer ID control on the component maps to the customer ID field in the underlying table. We can choose whether we want to do data validation before the insert uh, and uh, whether we want to refresh the controls after the insert and let's also set them to clean after the insert. So here's our uh, data binding. So uh, this is, these are the controls on the UX component and this, these are the corresponding fields in the Oracle table that we're going to be doing updates against. Uh, I've said here yeah, display debugging information, I've said display a fade out message, etc. So let's go ahead now and then save this, go over to working preview and I'll just type in say Dan Hooley and then I'll do an enter and you can see now there's our fade out message over there. There's the insert, you can see insert into customer and because it's an oracle table the customer ID value was obtained from the sequence over there, so there's um, the sequence, etc. So now um, we've entered a record and also uh, we've uh, refreshed the data after the record was inserted. So after the insert we went and got the value of this uh, sequence and filled it in. So there's the JavaScript that was done to refresh the data on the current screen. But now if I'd like to go and make an edit to this record, I can't use this button anymore because this button is an enter. And in fact, if I were to press this button right now, I'd get an error because that would be a duplicate primary key there for this value. So if we go back now and uh, let's go now to um, the, uh, the uh, uh, second button here, which is an update or insert. So if we go now, we can see that the operation type is set to auto decide. And then this is the name of the JavaScript function that we're going to call that uh, at runtime to tell us whether this is going to be an insert update or delete. So, um, so you can see here that this function needs to return the word either insert update or delete. And because I've got auto decide turned on, I need to define both update settings and also uh, insert settings. So let's go now and take a look at the JavaScript function. So we can see that the JavaScript function is just going to look at the value in the customer ID field and if it's blank, it's going to say it's an insert, otherwise it's an update. So let's go now to uh, working preview and add a record. So I'll go here and say Dan Smith and then hit the uh, update or insert. So we can see now we did an, an insert because it was blank. But now if I go here and change this to ALPHA and hit the update or insert button now, now you can see it's turned into an update. So we automatically switched from update to insert based on that value. So uh, this is a really powerful new way for doing CRUD operations in a UX component.